Hi guys, welcome to Raw Online. So today we are going to have an interesting uh, case discussion. So we are going to deal about uh, filarial uh, infection. So in our last session, like we have discussed about the particular uh, theoretical part of uh, Ucheridia Bancrafti and uh, you guys know about the introduction part and uh, what are the various life cycle and what is the mode of infection and the transmitting vector and what are the various complication and what is the lab diagnosis and I hope you guys will be able to identify the Ucheridia Bancrafti if any smear is provided to you and you should be also able to identify the Culex mosquito. So with this like I will show you a case study and with the case study I have a set of questions like let us answer one by one. So I will take you guys to the case study now. So here like we are going to have a 51 year old female who is going to be a resident of Jharkhand developed pedal edema and which is slowly increasing in size and becoming a massive edematous leg and the patient had history of acute adenolymphangitis 11 years back. So here like we have a case so 51 year old female and a resident of Jharkhand. So whenever like we are going to study about the particular filarial infection in India, it is more common in the part of the India like Jharkhand. And here the female developed pedal edema. So here like there is nothing given like unilateral or bilateral. So it is going to be pedal edema. So which is slowly increasing in size and becoming a massive edematous leg. So it is going to be slowly increasing and it is going to become a massive edematous leg. So probably the we are going to handle a case of elephantiasis. So here the patient had history of acute adenolymphangitis 11 years back. So this is the case history and we will see the question which is going to be asked. So question number one, what is the diagnosis here? So the diagnosis is probably chronic filariasis because it is happening after many years of episodes of acute adenolymphangitis and there is going to be an swelling of the particular leg. So here it's going to be a case of chronic filariasis. And what is the etiological agent? So the etiological agent is going to be a parasite. Parasite like we have the helminth. Helminth we have the nematode. So it is going to be caused by the agent called Ucheria pancrofti. So etiological agent is going to be nothing but a parasite and it is going to be an helminth and it is going to be a nematode. So the organism is called as Ucheria pancrofti which is going to be a uh, filarial uh, worm and it's going to be transmitted by the insect vector you all know the culex mosquito infected mosquito and it's going to inject us with the l3 filariform larvae and it's going to produce the infection so moving to question number three what is the mode of infection it's going to be bite of infected culex mosquito 